we have our third year end of show exhibition coming up at Jeff Wilson Gallery. That's on the 14th of November. Um, you can check that out on our Facebook page, which is North Tech Art. Uh, just put that in and we should come up. We also have our first and second year shows, which will be in our finals week, um, which will be somewhere around the 27th of November. Just keep an eye on our Facebook page and all those events will come up. Um, also, if you're keen on enrolling, we're taking enrolments now, both into the, um, the Bachelor of Applied Arts, so you can either take uh, visual arts or digital arts. Um, you can contact us through North Tech or through our Facebook page, or if you know me personally, you just ask me. Um, and we can meet up and talk a little bit more about what options we can take. Um, I actually teach on the digital arts, so I know a lot about it. So some of the jobs that our students have gone on to do once they've graduated or finished or learnt what they've needed to come and learn from us. Um, they've gone into video production in many aspects. Um, advertising and marketing, um, creative design, whether that's as a photographer or an illustrator, or they can do art direction, um, graphic design, graphic designer, um, culture and heritage, mm. work in our museums. There, there is so much that you can do through, um, you know, going through that process. Yes. And uh, I think a lot of people don't realize after doing three years or even two years you have learnt a ton of knowledge exactly. you've gone to, you've gone through learning how to just do pen to paper to putting into color to putting onto the wall as paintings or on digital art or into concept design or like as um Trey was saying um, as well as animation or graphic design or designing for film Yes. Um, or, learning how to do film editing and web design. Yeah, or even getting into specialist stuff, mm. writing about art. Mm. Um, culture and heritage is a big thing. Yeah. Taking those into now apps and things like that. If yeah. you go into any museum, you'll see that there's so many digital installations and we need people who can make that type yeah. of stuff. Um, and game designers, mm. you mm. know, gaming is big now and whether that's doing um, interface design, yep. concept art, or completing full games. There's a whole industry looking for um, skilled people who can do those sort of things. And, and that's the main thing there, a skill. And I think a lot of people don't realise that, you know, they go, okay, we don't have to go to school to learn all this stuff because I can do it, I, I know all this stuff. But it's still, it's the, it's the, and this is something I've been really thinking about, you, you can have the art, you can be an art, artist and stuff, but you need to learn technique. Yeah. You need to know what does what it does, how to cut up that using Adobe or Final Cut Pro or um, Illustrator. What will that, you know, what will that tool do? Because if you go into the industry and think you know it and they go, this is, you need to do this in Illustrator and you don't know Illustrator, you're at the door. That's, That's right. fast. That's like, well, if you, this is the one thing that we use if you don't know how to use it please, we don't have the time to teach you. Because the t time to learn is before you arrive there. And I think that's the important thing with skill. That's right, learning the, those industry tools mm. as well. So the other papers that we offer within the arts, Māori arts, yep. um, applied writing. So this is where you can do scripts, yep. novels, things like that. And, yeah, and of course our visual arts and digital arts. Mm. So we've got quite a little hub there down at North Tech. Call it Tuitipitu Arts, which is the name of our precinct. Um, and if anyone's welcome to show you through that area with our studios. Oh, uh, uh, we were discussing a student the other day when we were, I was down there at the gallery, and her name is on on YouTube. It's called Crafty Shah. That's Crafty Shah. K R A F T Y S H A. That's K R F T. 
Y S H A one word, and it's Craftsha Deji Comic Crafts. Mm. Now, tell us about this young person. Okay, well, she's actually a part time student, so you don't have to be full time, and she's particularly chosen papers so that she can uh, launch her career on YouTube, and she's been with us now for two years. She likes to kind of stay anonymous, so I'm not going to say too much about sure. about it. But um, yeah, she's chosen the option of studying part time so that she does work as well, so mm. that she can kind of focus on on her end goal. She's come in with a plan, and now she's able to um, fulfill the, those plans, her goals um, by learning these tools um, she's taken social media and practice which was one of the first papers i said you need to do this if you're going to if you want to be on youtube you need to take that paper she's mm. also done interactive design animation visual effects motion graphics and she's done sound and moving image so all of those will mm. are really great um, if you want to become someone on YouTube. So, yeah, so she's taken, um, her, her love of um, Minecraft mm -hmm. is what's put her on this course to actually writing about, um, about these yeah, stories about this mm -hmm. um, environment that's amazing. And I think, and a lot of people have loved it. I mean, I'm looking at the trailer here. There's a 456. That's from a young person here in Whangarei. Mm -hmm. And if you think that's a that's that's a little amount of views, that's a little amount of views from someone who likes to remain anonymous. Yes, she does. And, and so, tell you, who you know, <laughs> so that's so she's she's um you know she's taken this art um this space of uh, environment in Minecraft, add her own environment um art to it, where yeah. she's written stories, turned, um, comic books, applications. You um, is that Develop like the characters? She's built these environments particularly for her stories as well mm. and i mean we we saw minecraft and they've done like zombie minecraft novels you know based around this and they probably end up doing with animation soon where there's like movies based around this and i mean we've seen lego do that yeah you know lego movies are the biggest things right now we've got lego 2, lego movie 2 coming out soon um you've got batman lego but then you've got Batman Lego games, right, on Xbox and um, and also on, so I guess, um, is that Sony, uh, you know, and so on. And so it's not limited, and this is what you were saying before, it's not limited to one environment where you can just use the skill that you learn yeah. to just one environment. Here's, got, here's someone who's basically said, I am going to do it this specifically for YouTube. And she's done really well at it. And I think the, the amazing thing is that you're only limited by your imagination and the skills you have. And that's exactly right. And that's where, um, you know, the skills for um, get taught at places like North Tech. That's exactly right. And so you, and we we're talking earlier with he Peter and um, and she was talking about um having gone into to work for two years, full time, at fourteen, come out of it at sixteen, still works part time, but goes to Polytech to learn her upskill herself, or learn new skills to take her up to another platform, and I think this is what's important for us as in Fungra to have that base. Definitely, because not everybody throws a ball around, and I think the idea of everybody just throws a ball around is is of the past, and because you know anything we look at now has a design to it, and as a as a applied art application to it. Uh, anything from, like you said, like from um, from design des designing a concept for a game to yeah. the game actually being played. Yeah. Um, tell us more about the process that um, you know that the students will go through when they're at at a part us. Um, well, it depends because we have so many options. We have uh, a number of core classes that 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 all our students take. This mm -hmm. is if you're full time. So we have you. You can certainly sign up for part-time. Pick and choose what you want. So for our full-time students, there's core subjects that they all must take. And then you have multiple options. 
that you can choose. So you can kind of customize your learning to whatever your goals are. And a lot of students come in and they know exactly what they want to do. But by the end of it, they've changed course because they've had so many different um, experiences opened up to them. That they've decided, no, this is the way that I'm going to go. We also work with industry and we give them a lot of opportunities to exhibit their work and be, be seen in the community. Um, and these are, and be on radio stations like mm. this. Um, yeah. yeah, talk about, you know, to come up and talk about them stuff because it, it's all part and parcel of um, getting the business side of art because there is the, the business that people don't realise art is a business. Yes, it is. And it is a work and um, it's not something you just draw and that's, you know, that's all you do. But it's it's a very important part of our life and people don't realise it sometimes when, I, when I, people go, well, what do you do as an artist? Well, I do a lot of stuff. And you and this is a time where you can do a lot of stuff. Yeah. You're not like confined to just I just do this and that's all I do. Because with having something like applied arts there, you can actually learn different disciplines. That's right. And you can become multi skilled mm. which um is great for employers too because they want people who have multiple skills that can kinda of hit the ground running. Yeah. Rather than um People that just kind of specialise in one area that don't stick out of those boundaries. But as far as arts is concerned, there's, you know, a lot of people think of it as a hobby. Mm, mm. And it's not a hobby. It's everything from the design on your t-shirt to the, the shoe that you're wearing, to the building that you're looking at, to the interface on your computer. Um, it's... it's all that creativity all wrapped up into one. I think um, one of the things that we, you know, um, we lack in Fungare is the the backing of the others. Mm. You know, backing of students who don't necessarily, uh, you know, are confined to what everybody else thinks they should be doing. It's like you leave school, go to get a job, or you go to university. But when you have something locally, uh, it's important to support that. And that's what I'm, with, with this exhibition on the 14th, you know, everybody should go out as much as they can if they're available to get, get out there and, what, um, and view the work. Now, how long is it open till? I think it's only on for a couple of weeks. It's actually, this time around, it's a combination of our applied arts students and our Māori arts. Mm -hmm. So... Um, it's going to have a nice mix and a nice feel in it. So we've got those those two lots of third year students graduating. And so we've mixed them up together. And um, I'm really excited about it. I've seen some of the work. Uh, and the students are involved with all aspects of, of the exhibition, right down to writing the media releases, mm. doing all the marketing, um, making sure that the food is prepared yeah. for the day, that the invites go out to the right people as well, um, as well as getting their work ready, mm. doing the artist statements, doing the catalogue that supports it. Yeah. So when people think about an exhibition, they think that, oh, we're just going to go and get pretty pictures. This exhibition is um, a cross, it's multidisciplinary. It's there's a it's not just pictures on all there is a video, there's games, there's carvings, there's installations. Um, it's gonna be fantastic. Excellent. So that's on the opens on the fourteenth once for how long? I'm not too sure. I think it's a couple of weeks. Excellent. But check out our Facebook page which is North Tech Arts. All right, so that's um, Jade Morgan here from uh, um, North Tech Arts. Applied Arts here in, uh, locally at North Tech. I mean, everybody here locally should know where yeah. that is. Um, so we'll be back um, with some more stuff. Next up, we've got, um, i like to thank um, the students of the Applied Art course. And also, thank you, Jade, for coming oh, in. Thank you really for inviting it. us. It's been a fantastic opportunity for the students to come and talk 
about their work yeah. and what we do down at North Tech. So thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. Um, so I'm going to play a couple of videos from now on. Uh, it's, uh, it's this is um, of an interview with Jody Whitaker with Jamila Jamal. If you if you've been listening to the show, you'll know that Jamila Jamal is from the Good Place, a excellent excellent comedy series that's out now, The Good Place. If you don't know what it's about, jump on um, IMDb and find out because it's and that's third season just started, and it's about people who have basically died and what happens when you die it's based on judeo judeo christian beliefs and it's very funny it's got ted danson and kirsten ritter and it's yeah as well as jamila jamil so this is jamila jamil uh with on the last call with carson daly interview jody whitaker so she's uh going to be a regular on that show interviewing people um you know celebrities and so on but this was a really cool one because we've been discussing um Doctor Who all this month. I also will be playing soon the last uh, interview with uh, with Paul Schoons, who's uh, who I did an interview with that you've been listening to the last couple of weeks uh, over the past month. And this is the last part of um, part three of that interview. And so they'll be coming up soon as well. Amongst this, I just want to say there's going to be um, a series of um, interviews with um, the boys. This is a new series. Um, I mentioned it last week. It's an adult R18, um, but they might have dropped it down to R M15 TV show uh, based on a series of adult oriented superhero comic books. So it's not for kids, and please don't even think about kids about this. It's not for them, and it's for adults, all choice people like M15 and over. Um, but they have they have mentioned that it's been downgraded from the R18 to 15. The other thing is that the great thing about this is the headline main actor, lead actor is Carl, none other than, none other than Judge Dredd himself, Carl Urban. Another, another, um, another huge American show, right? The other one was British. But another huge American show that he's part of now is The Boys. All right, so we're going to be playing this. So this is um, Last Call with Carson Daly with Jamila Jamil inter interviewing um, Jodie Whittaker and then The Boys and then a little bit of um, Titans characters, uh, cast talking about their stuff. And then uh, we'll be back with the final piece of interview with Paul Scott. <laughs> 